Well, there he is, number one, Arco, certainly the chaser of the decade, if not the chaser of the century. The Arthur story is much, much more than a racing story. It's to do with a nation having a yearning for something, something that they can really believe in. Arkell was an enormous shot in the arm for Irish sport generally and for national pride. And we all worshipped him as much as Ireland did and everybody loves a champion, just in a completely, utterly different league. He was such a genuine legend, wasn't he? I mean, he was so superior. It's the best I've ever seen, certainly. And now Arthur opening up now, like a sports car. Like... He was invincible. He just had that aura about him. Muhammad Ali was sort of invincible for a long time. Tiger Woods was invincible for a while. And Arthur was invincible for those three or four years. It was an optimistic age in the 60s. People were just beginning to see the world through television. And you could see John F. Kennedy, you could see the Beatles, and Arco was one of those iconic figures. The great thing about Arco was the tale his life tells, not only of horses, but of Ireland itself. Arco was the absolute essence of the romance of sport, and especially the romance of horse racing. Racing is full of passing dreams. That's what it peddles. What Arco was and is, he's an eternal dreamer.